So expanding upon the whole A minor triad jam, those three notes, the A, C, and E, can be found all over your guitar in different shapes. It can be really helpful to stay in one shape and try to make a solo or a melody or an idea in that area because your fingers can stay in that spot, which can be kind of comfortable. So the last time we were experimenting with different ways of playing the A, C, and E. And you can make some cool music out of just those three notes. Improvising it, trying to make it sound singable. So that's the A, C, and E. But we can start adding more notes out of the scale to, to, to play with. So this one we call the A minor seventh because it adds A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the seventh letter. And if you do that, it has a little bit more color to it. Um, so we're gonna include the G on the small third string, small third fret, small string, third fret, and the, the G that's in the kind of the middle of the guitar, the third string, open, that's G. So we're gonna pl play all those notes. You've got the open G, you've got A, you've got C, you've got E, and G. So we could make a song out of all of those notes. How many different patterns can you make out of that? Something repetitive or interesting that sounds like music. Play a bunch of notes and then take a pause or repeat it. So I started out with my idea the same way and then did a different ending. That, that's an interesting way to do it. Music often has some pattern to it, so trying to come up with a, an interesting pattern with those notes. So A, C, E, and the G. So the challenge with this one is to make up your own tune in the A minor seven uh, notes. So that's A, C, E, and G. Those four letters. A, C, E, G. things you could try are doing some pull-offs, A and the G, coming back to the triad can sound very resolved, so the A, C, or E notes can sound quite finished. Have fun.